I love when somebody create a community where it ain't no hating. Ain't no hating. Mm -hmm. It's like, hey, we all can win. Because we know mm -hmm. um, McDonald's and Burger King be across the street from each other. So, mm -hmm. you know, money everywhere. My whole focus, beginning Monday, is business funding. Besides, um, I'm going to build out my school. I'm going to be building out my mentorship. Yes, I'm going to build out yeah. my small ticket. I'm going to build out. But funding is my number one focus. Uh, like, I'm going to be real. A lot of the stuff that you said, I knew. But you said it in a way that made things click different. And that's one thing that I've learned is that some, some, when, you, when you get somebody else stuff, you, you, it might not be a whole great deal unless you're a beginner. But we All right, welcome back to my channel. I got a special guest today. Uh, one of the students in the high ticket 10K mentorship. I got Gary Branch here today. Welcome to the channel, Gary. How are you doing? Hey, man. Thank you for having me, man. I can't complain at all. Definitely. So just to, you know, get straight into it. So we're basically just going to go over, you know, how how you've been in the program, you know, what you've been doing, how things were when you started and kind of go from there. But how's your week been going so far? Today's Friday for people that don't know when we're recording this. So how's your week been going so far? Week been pretty good. I got some things accomplished this week. Um, You know, just always on the grind. You know how it is as a business owner trying to get things you know, were you working in the business and or on the business and not in the business? So we we've been good. I made some strides this week. That's good. That's good. Let's start off by just telling the people like how you actually found me. So actually, I found you from Instagram. I found you from Instagram. Okay. I kept seeing your ads. I kept seeing them. I kept seeing them. Kept seeing them. Um. Yeah. So you definitely had some uh stuff that was tracking me because you was always popping up in there. And um, you know, I reached out to you. You seemed like you know somebody who honest knew what they was talking about you know uh you know once we you know i ain't take no time to sign up um because i me before i even hop on with somebody i do my due diligence and everything because i don't have time to waste to be asking a thousand questions okay. so you know you just locked in from there so let's talk about before you even got in the program let's talk about your business where you're at what you're looking to do, like why you even got in the program. Cause there's going to be some people watching. They might be on the fence. So let's talk about your journey a little bit. So my journey, I've been running my actual company for coming up four years in September. Um, mm -hmm. Like I'm, I'm going to be real, man. I, I got out of prison August of 2020, man. Mm -hmm. And by September I hit the business running. I knew that's what I was going to do when I came home. Cause mm -hmm. I had already knew about credit repair. Um, but getting home and then seeing the different stuff, you know, it was COVID. So everybody was teaching online and all that stuff. Yeah. And, you know, I, I went from low ticket people who could help. And, you know, I just kept on going and going. By the time I got to you, you know, I had been in the space for a few years, getting pretty good deletions, having problems with cleaning people all the way up, um, having little marketing problems, things like that. Um, and, and your program has definitely helped me take it to, you know, another level in, in a short time. It helped me with some disputing things, helped me with some organization, definitely helped me with like prior to you, I wasn't doing much videos and stuff like that, much real stuff like that. That That's one of the things that God made market and definitely helped. Um, I, I'll tell you um, that when you said the how credit repair works video, like make that, well, in my mind, I did make that video, but in my mind, it told yeah. me to go make another type of a pre-call video. And on that video, I kind of just break down, like, it's damn near, like, how I would talk on a sales call. And for the people who watch that video, uh, that is like, they locked in because they see it. They see I know what I'm talking about. I tell them about the laws. I tell them cancel the call. Don't don't play. Just cancel it if you feel like you ain't got the money, you don't want to do it, stuff like that. Yeah. That was the immediate impact. Like that was the fastest immediate impact that I had with your program was recording that video. You didn't specifically say record it, but when you said do the how credit repair works, my brain heard something else. Mm -hmm. uh, and that was the specific immediate impact it made. Um, and I've had other programs, great ones. You know what I mean? I got other great programs. You know what I mean? Um, I'm, a, I'm a person who invests. I invest um, in myself every year because I know that you got to do to grow the business and, and your program definitely up there um, with, with, with my favorites that I purchased. Amazing. Amazing. So you joined, I believe I looked yesterday, it was like April 28th, something like that. So we're coming up on, you know, three months, you've been in a program, you know, you got the result as far as what you said with uh, making that video. And then I know in the wins channel, you you just recently posted about um, someone on YouTube, you, you closed someone on YouTube. Can, can we talk a little bit about that and the importance of YouTube? 
Yeah, he was actually in my state. Easiest clothes okay. I ever had. That wasn't yeah. a referral. Easiest non-referral clothes ever from somebody who just got me not an ad, not yeah. nothing. He was yeah. like, man, I saw I went and watched all your YouTube videos. He said, I'm ready, man. So I think you're going to be able to do what you say. You know what I mean? Um, And <laughs> like, he ain't even play. And it was crazy because at first he was about to do a couple of dollars, like 300 and he just upped it. Boom. He's like, oh, no, I just want to pay for most of it. And, and um, for what I charged him, he probably got a couple hundred dollars left to pay. It went from, he was only going to pay. He was like, no, nah, I just want to get it out of the way. because I'm. Yeah. And um, it was an easy close because he saw me on YouTube and he was just ready. He seen me spinning. He was like, he basically told me like, I've watched a lot of people. I can tell you know what you're talking about. Because one thing about me, I am a student of this and I've learned before you, I've learned with you. You've enhanced my knowledge. And uh, like, I'm gonna be real. A lot of the stuff that you said, I knew, but you said it in a way that made things click different. And that's one thing that I've learned is that some, some, when, you, when you get somebody else stuff, you, you, it might not be a whole great deal unless you're a beginner. But when you're not a beginner, yeah. it might not be a whole great deal, but it's small things clicking in the How Credit Repair Works video. I never have recorded one. The way I did the pre-call video, I had one prior to that, but yours made me do it a whole different kind of way that was more effective. And um, it's some things that you said that click. And it's like when you said them, I heard in a different way. And it's helped, and it's even helped my dispute game because I was able to like tailor some laws and my letters in a different way. And even the way that, you know, you do the letters, how you showed us the who, what, when, what, like it was able for me to be able to remake my letters and more effective. No, that's key. Because I know, I know it's going to be some people watching right now. They're just like, okay, no, I already know everything. And when you have that mindset, you got to understand sometimes it's just that same conversation, but delivered in a different way, the same way that you just said right now. And then, you know, you, you just, it's one of those things you just place yourself in an environment of like-minded individuals that are getting to the next level. Can we talk about the environment of the mentorship, maybe the wins channel, like what you think of the environment? Hey man, it, I love it. Um, because people sharing their wins in there. And if you ask questions, they don't have no, uh, problem sharing you. I got one other mentorship that I'm in that I compare this with. They're, they're my top two. Like they're right there. And like, I love when somebody create a community where it ain't no hating. Ain't no hating. It's like, hey, we all can win. Cause we know um, McDonald's and Burger King be across the street from each other. So, you know, money everywhere. Um, yeah. As long as you putting in the work, studying and applying what your mentor has taught you, especially when they have a you know, a, a hell of a program. I love the way people get in there, share their wins, don't mind sharing it with you. And I know out of your community is coming many more mentorships, myself included. Um, Because if anybody in there studying and not just, you know, it's one thing when you're just trying to make the money, but it's one thing when you're really trying to get the results. If anybody in there studying, it's set up for you to win. It's set up where people are going to ask questions and they're going to get answered. So I, I love that community. I appreciate that. So I know when we had our onboarding call, we were talking about, you were taking like hella calls. Can we kind of talk about now today where, what things are looking like, what your daily tasks are looking like now? Now, right now, I'll be real. I get up at three o'clock. My, my day is pretty much done by eight. And so of course I ain't taking no phone calls before eight o'clock. I have phone calls on a whim here. And like on this Friday, I ain't got none. Pretty sure my sales guy got 10 or 11. Um, The setup, has allowed people to see me on that video. I tell them, you're probably not getting me on the call. They fine with that. For those who don't watch it, they don't get that. That's fine. They're probably not the idea client anyway, because you want people that's going to pay attention. Um, people who pay attention are better clients. They're going to understand because I ran down everything on, all, already to them. And it makes it easier for my sales guy because like when he get on the phone, they done seen the results already. Exactly. I done ran them down on the laws already. You know what I mean? I, I, I just said so much stuff to him on a video that it makes it easy for him. So, you know, it, it it really has helped me. Now I'm able to work on all these other things, on these other things, instead of like, you know, constantly having to call people and, you know, you know how the no show rate is in this industry. You know what I mean? Constantly have to wait. And then next thing you know, they don't answer. Now I got 30 minutes to burn, can't get much done. So it's allowing me to do a lot of other things. Um, And I only got one sales rep. That's all I need right now. I ain't turned up ad spin and went crazy or nothing till I fine tune things. So that really, 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 really helped. Sure. No, that's, that's definitely important. So let's talk about, let's talk about God made marketing. Cause I know you mentioned that 
earlier. Can you talk about just some insights you've had from that? Technically, the YouTube video you created, that's within the God made marketing realm. Can we talk about God made marketing? I mean, ba basically, like it's content presented to people in a certain kind of way. And one thing about it, if you know your stuff and you and you put it down and you get them funnels right, them videos right and all that stuff there. And the way that you showed me, it, it's like people will be asking for you instead of you chasing people. And it don't happen overnight. I, I, I probably had more social proof for people to look at than a lot of people probably get in your program because I've been around for a while mm -hmm. and I already knew how to get reviews. Um, so I know when people come and see my stuff and then they go and look at my reviews, they go to my Facebook page, they already gonna see like I got a lot of traction. So that probably yeah. helped me, um, you know, get them faster than maybe the average person they was just starting. However, when people hear you talking and they see you know what you're talking about and you know you're giving them the 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 the, the what and maybe a little bit of the how to, but not too much of it because we know how that go. Um, it 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 um really 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 helps with um conversions definitely so yeah no marketing is uh definitely huge how's your sales rep doing as far as like uh closing rate did you have to did you have to do some training in there was is that like a new sales rep so he actually once owned a credit repair company so it made it a little easier he he was a former credit repair company owner okay. where he just he um and he's learning from me i'm gonna be honest like he's getting because well, now he always be like, dang, bro, I never know you're supposed to be organized like this and all that stuff there. So he's learning from me how to go back and run his company. I know one day he's going to do that. But in Good. the meantime, I didn't have to teach credit. I didn't have to teach uh, nothing. Basically, uh, here's the script. Don't be a slave to it. You already know about credit to answer the questions. Hey, man, don't be a slave to the script. Veer off where you need to. I already pre-sold them. And that's one thing he always says, like, well, you know, a lot of times people get on the phone, if they watch the video, or that's the thing. If they already watch them pre-call videos, that's the thing. And of course, you know, part of the thing is asking them, like, did you check me out already? Because if you didn't check me out, then it's really like, so, you know, so that 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 really helps. You say somebody's watching right now, they on the fence, maybe they stuck at like five to 10K a month or something. They're thinking about, Moving forward with the program, what would you recommend to them? Get in it. Um, if you're struggling with deletions, you know, it, it, you, you're going to be able to get them deletions. So, if you're struggling with marketing, you're definitely going to be able to get the marketing done. Um, if you're stuck in that 5 to 10K range, um, it, it, you definitely can get it. Um, you get taught how to, you know, even even showing some people who you can hire for stuff. Um, definitely um, myself, I knew a lot about uh winning lawsuits and stuff already with some stuff you that. gave me. I've been yeah. undefeated now. I've been undefeated yeah. so far with some stuff you gave me. Um, Every time a client of mine has been sued prior while being signed up with me, I had one I lost, but she had been sued before she signed up with me, already signed on the dotted line, told me she was going to pay them and all that. That's the one I lost. Everybody who didn't sign on the dotted line, who been sued since I, it's been three. Um, I won all three of them. Um, one of them said with prejudice, like, don't y'all even come back. Like, mm. um, and that was just last week. Um, yeah. fact, and I, I haven't even made a video about that. I got the thing. She sent it to me because they haven't updated the clerical court website. She was like, here it go. Right. Cause I told her, I said, you sure they ain't update the website. Cause they usually do it faster. She sent it to me. She's like, yeah, block my information out and share it. I just haven't shared it yet. Um, but I love the lawsuit thing. I'm about to um, take some actions on the bureaus itself from what I learned in there. And I knew about that already. I sued the bureaus on my own, but some stuff don't always work. And you gave another twist on it, another way to do it. Cause we know defamation don't work like it used to. It's so, crazy. um, yeah. cause I, I did that in one, you know what I mean? Several yeah. times, but we know that don't work like it used to. And, and that's the thing. And, and one thing that, uh, and you mentioned this in the program about, you know, when you got a mentor, your mentor need to have a mentor because everybody needs to stay afloat. You need to stay up to date on what's going on. And um, that's what I like about your program because we do get up to date methods. It's not like you just gave us um, a one time recording and that's it. It's like, you know, you get stuff added in there. Then you got people in the channel talking about, hey, I did this to win. So it kind of keep you up to date and up to flow, up to speed so that you could be on what's current. Definitely, definitely. And that's one of the things I was going to say that I like about the community, because it's not like I wouldn't call it the Michael Benjamin show. Like everyone has their own, you know, unique thing. And that's why I wanted to 
talk about you dismissing lawsuits because I've helped clients dismiss lawsuits, but it seems like you're taking information and going super crazy with it. So I wanted to talk to you about it. And I know when you first, I think when you first posted it, you said that you use what you already knew combined with, you know, what we have. So I don't want it to make it, I don't want to make it seem like you just use our information, but can we talk about, you know, how you got there and what you've been doing, how we helped you, how you did it yourself as well? Um, I mean, basically it's all about asking for that information and proving it. Um, it's yep. some things you show and you show in um the program about hey, you could use this and you could do this. And it's all about that information and making them prove it. Like they really don't have no grounds. And there's some stuff I knew and I was able to add some stuff to it because I mean, when you go to ask them for all these documents, if they can't prove it, uh, and one of the things that I, I didn't understand prior was answering correctly. Answering correctly mean every single thing in the uh and i ain't got no elephant brain but what it's called the complaint the complaint yeah, yeah. <laughs> every single thing in the complaint line yeah. by line yeah needs to be answered that alone helped me and then you know you give us some ways on how to answer it even another thing to use in there to help you answer it and that kind of stuff and then me i know how to use chat gpt real well um, so I used that a little bit along with that. And then just some information I had about things you should be asking for, like got principles and stuff like that. Um, and when you combine that stuff and they get it, I had one client um, and she um, she told me, she said, hey, um, I, and I did this for her for free. I ain't even charge her because she was the yeah, first one yeah. I did it for. I did it for a flat out free. And I said, you're going to be the one I said, because once I do that, then I did three back to back, boom, 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 all one. And she was like, yeah, you know, it was like Midland, I think it was. And she was like, you know, and I, and I didn't even, um, she was already wrapped up in it prior, matter of fact. So she really? took the letter in court with her, I think, if I'm not mistaken, to the first, I think she might've handed it to him or something, if I remember correctly. But I know I had her mail it too or whatever, I think. And she was like, the lawyer was in the court reading. The lawyer was like, who, who did this for you? And she was like, oh, I be studying. You know, of course she ain't gonna say nobody. And she was like, I ain't never seen nobody respond like this. And and, and then, of course, before the next court date, dismissal. They were just like, yeah. drop it. Um, Lord, I ain't never seen nobody respond like this. And that's what it's all about, responding. You have to respond. Like, And I tell people this all the time, and I don't say it to be like uh, arrogant or nothing or like I know everything. Because if I knew everything, I wouldn't join mentorships because um, I already know everything. But I don't believe in that. But like debt collectors, really? Like debt collectors who you didn't, this is what I tell people all the time when they ask about debt collectors. All right, Mike, I owe you some money. Now, why in the hell is your brother, uncle, cousin, sister, friend, or anybody else coming to me talking about some, hey man, I need that money you owe Mike. Yeah. Like, Listen, man, I, nothing, I owe him. And, and yeah. to me, it's basically as simple as that. We gonna break them down every time. I don't got no contract with you, I don't know you. Why, why, why the hell you even got my social security number? How about that? That's what I'm saying. That's good. That's definitely good. And I think it just go it just goes to show like the theme of what you've been saying earlier. You had the prior knowledge that you had, and then you amplified it to get it to the next level. So that's 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 one of the things I wanted to showcase as well. Cause I know it's gonna be beginners watching, but if someone is not a complete beginner, you can definitely get value uh from the program as well is there anything that i guess you could say about the program because we're always trying to improve it anything that you you would like to see more of or something um just keeping up to date on disputing what's what's right because you, you give us the marketing if somebody don't know how to market um it's enough to get you going it's enough to get you to the 20k mark easy just off that alone yeah. It's enough yeah. to get you that. It ain't teach you how to be the best funnel builder and the best ads person and all that. Although I didn't even take your help with that. You know what I mean? You know, you, you know, I didn't even do, I, I did it on my own because I, I just felt like I could from the information you gave. I didn't even schedule that call with you to go over the copy and all that. I didn't even do that, but you offer that. You know what I mean? So um, it's, I, I believe your program should easily get anybody to 20K if they put in the work. The thing believe, is this, yeah. um, you got to have them systems in place. And a lot of people don't want to organize. You got to be a personal organization. I got a hell of an operations manager. That's my organizer. I'm not going to lie. He the bread and butter. And I tell him that with no problem. Like he's an organizer. I, I got ADHD. Um, I be all over the place. 
Um, he my organizer, so it allows me to be all over the place somewhere else because he got it organized over there. Because I'm 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 I be all I'm, I got ADHD. I be all over the place. Um, but basically, it should easily get you 20k a month because what I know is this: one thing, the bottom line is people love results. That's what they love. And if you can show results, they're going to rock with you. And being in the program, you definitely going to be able to show results. Prior to your program, I was getting results. I'm getting better results um, because it's more up to date. There's some things that I was doing that you showed me. And I, it was a lot of tweaks I had to go back and do uh, some stuff that I was doing where your stuff was lining right up with it. But it was like, nope, you got to tweak this. You got to tweak that. You got to tweak this. You got to tweak that. But I didn't know how to really um, showcase them videos, showcase them results like that on video and make them YouTube videos and stuff like that. And I ain't never been camera shy. I just really didn't know how to do it. And then when you show it, it's like, damn, it's not really that. It was something I said, it was just hop straight on. Cause boom, it ain't gotta be all pretty. That's really what you showed me for real. It don't have to be pretty, man. Get on there and talk, man. Show them that exactly. you know what you're talking about. Show them your results. If it ain't pretty, so what? I mean, um, I, I, I got, I did a video just about freezing the bureaus, man. I promise you that video done did about, I'm probably damn near at 20,000 views right now. Wow. Um, and it's just about freezing the bureaus. And when I yeah. did it, I never knew it was going to take, because I thought that was just some super, I've seen videos like this before. Yeah. That video ain't have no type of crazy editing, nothing. Yeah. I was just on there just talking and and, and it rocked. So so that's why if, if you're a person with the info, people can smell BS. Most people can. And if they, if you look like you don't know the hell you're talking about and you can't show no results, then, you know, so program should be easy for somebody to be able to get in there and get the money and, and the process isn't hard down to the lawsuits you break it all down no nah, most definitely no nah, what you said what you said was real real shit though about like freezing the bureaus because it's like the information a lot of times we sleep on the fact that a lot of people don't know so you could be a level two or three it's a bunch of level ones when we talk about something as simple as uh 15 usc 1681 is the fcra a lot of people don't know that even though that's simple to us you know what i'm saying yep. so you know that's that's definitely important and that's why that's why i always encourage y'all and i always say like if you don't have if you're not on youtube you don't care about your credit repair business you know and i was so, not on youtube before you i never you on youtube a, now <laughs> i never made not one long you got me on youtube like yeah. and that's one thing you did like that is i had not one i had a few short reels that was just really the same junk you put on Instagram and Facebook. But I got on YouTube and made long form content for the first time from your program. No, nah, most definitely. And cause, cause I, I looked at it, like you see people like, you know, Myron Golden, Gary V, like all these people, they're making a bunch of long form YouTube. They're doing short form. They're doing all that, but the common denominator, they're all on YouTube. So you know, kind of like what you experienced, that no like trust factor. Someone's watching you for a while. You're giving the sauce. You're nurturing them. They don't even got to talk to you. They talk to your sales rep. I don't hop on my credit repair calls. They talk to my sales rep. Same thing. I was hearing Michael say X, Y, Z. They're ready to go, you know, paying the 2000 2500 3000 You know what I'm saying? So it's just getting those uh, systems in place, like you said, which is uh, really important. So, you know, I'm glad you're able to see the YouTube thing uh, for yourself as well. So just on... As far as like content, like YouTube content, you know, this video itself is going to make uh, m money and bring attraction and everything. But I guess because you said you weren't on YouTube before, can you kind of just talk about the importance that you see in YouTube and just kind of how you see it moving down the line as you continue to be on YouTube? So this is what I know. We know we living in the microwave generation. So people love reels. However... Yeah. People who watch long form content are better clients, in my yeah. opinion, because if you can catch somebody for 10 minutes in today's day and age and watch a video for 8, 10, 20 minutes, they're going to be better clients. That's what I'm learning. So when I get people over on YouTube and then now what I have to learn is I'm so excited and passionate. I love to help people. And I had one person was like, hey, man. I mean, you was talking too fast. So <laughs> I was like, oh, forgive me, man. I get excited, man, because I'm passionate. I love to help people. You know what I'm saying? So I go to rambling. Um, and uh um YouTube content is great. I I think I was showing that was on my Lexus Nexus video. Now, that's another thing. You don't talk about Lexus Nexus, but I took, but I know 
from my prior knowledge, Lexus Nexus is Experian Equifax TransUnion, you know, different. So now I did my own personal Lexus Nexus from car accidents that my wife had. Um, and I cleared it. First shot. Boom. Same stuff. The same exact letter. I just took and copy and pasted it, screenshots of everything from Lexus Nexus that was on it. Boom. They cleared every single thing off one shot. Boom. I, matter of fact, I ain't make the video yet. Matter of fact, the envelope right here with yeah, the Lexus that video Nexus right there. I ain't even make the video yet. I made one video about it, but I ain't make it. I'm going to make another one showing. And so yeah. that YouTube video right there, I got people reaching out to me from that. Hey, man, you could do Lexus now. I got people reaching out. Hey, you could do lawsuits, um, stuff like that. And so I'm lining that stuff up to really be able to um, take on more of that because that's easy money when you can do stuff like that. That's that's real easy and quick money. Definitely. So, I mean, that's why I'm so big on content. Um, the systems, like you were saying earlier, because I know you used to take like hella calls and you have more time to work on the content, work on your back end more so as well. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up in a little bit, but I guess what would you say is next for you? You've been in the program three months so far. You've gotten, you know, some pretty good results, but we do got to say in the beginning that you're not brand new. You already had like results and stuff like that. So it's not always going to be like this, but what would you say is next for you within the next uh, three months or so to end the year? We know we, we didn't, we didn't even talk about the business funding, but you know, business yeah, funding is a whole different said, bag. But, no, no, listen, yeah. that's it. My whole focus beginning Monday is business funding. Besides, um, I'm going to build out my school. I'm going to be building out my mentorship. Yes, I'm going to build out yeah. my small ticket. I'm going to build out. But funding is my number one focus. Um, yeah. Suing the bureaus for them, them, them last stubborn things that be left and funding. Those, those are my number one focuses while I got my VA working on my school and my mentors lining that up while I'm creating videos for that. Funding is I'm 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 literally working on my uh my funnel, my VSL, my ad copy, all that stuff for funding. I'm probably about to stop running credit repair ads soon. Straight funding ads. Um mm -hmm. and you know, if they don't qualify, I could switch them to credit repair. And I think I'm gonna turn my credit repair all organic, straight YouTube and all that, and only run funding ads. So that's literally what I'm working on. Funding. Sure. Okay. So yeah, one of the things I talk about in the program, and I, I gave you all some reference documents in there, um, the importance of building relationships with uh, the bank. So I guess as far as the uh, business funding, what have been some takeaways from the program as far as how to go about it? I gave you all a Chase Connect as well. What have been like some, uh, I guess, takeaways as far as your mindset going into it? Um, it's some good stuff in there, and I haven't even got into the nuts and bolts of it yet. Um. I'm actually working on all my other stuff first, like getting my ad copy and funnels and stuff ready first. Because when I looked at it, I was like, and I do not now again, I already know about funding a little bit. Yeah. Now. And yeah, um, also, see, I'm the type of person that like funding is work. I'm the kind of person who would just take the 10, take the 5% and send them over to you. No, no that's just me. I, I, I believe in like, because, you know, that's another thing you offer is that you're in that yeah. program that. Hey man, send them over there. Percent, yeah. Flip that money, man, and keep on going. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so I'm working on all that first because I know that I can send some over to you, and I got some other people I can send them to. You know what I mean? From my prior relationships, so I know I got that in place. So I'm working on my ads and funnels and all that stuff first before I even like I looked at that stuff and it's good, but I'm I'm looking at um you know me I I believe in you know it's like owning a, a company um. You know, uh, I, I believe in making some of the money and spreading my instead yeah. of, you know, taking time saying? to make all the money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. OK, so with your ads, are you because I, I think I think I said you're you said something about you're doing a little bit different. Are you running your own ads? Are you hiring someone to do it? How, how's that process? I have someone running them for me right okay. now, but I'm okay. soon to switch to doing them myself when I get on my um funding ads and I got somebody who runs a very lucrative funding company who nice. is teaching how to run specifically funding ads and track it by the tracker that you gave and all that. That's what I'm doing. That's how I'm doing it right now. You know, um, I ran some follower ads and stuff like that. Uh, and I kind of switched it. I'm just, you know, you know how that testing phase is. So, so yeah, it's a lot of testing. Back, yeah, yeah. testing. Yeah. Like I'm even doing a little TikTok ads right now. So I'm testing, but um, ultimately um, I'm going to be running my own ads within the next 30 days. I'll be running myself 
everything full on fledged on. I got somebody teaching me like how to just run them strictly for funding. And um, that's what I'm gonna focus on. Um, I'm gonna mm -hmm. focus on funding and copy and stuff like that there. Um, while I'm fine tuning the su suing process. One thing that I was hesitant before coming to you, I had lost the defamation of character once, twice, but not with all three bureaus. With Experian, you gave me some game in there and I knew about it, but it wasn't taught the way you taught it. It wasn't line by line, step by step. Yeah. Um, out, out, it wasn't taught to me that way. It was taught in a different kind of a way where I don't like having to ask people a thousand questions. I hate that. I, I like to be able to get it, boom, boom, and you got it lined up that way where really you see I haven't asked you no questions at all. And I got some little lawsuits about the brew. Um, so that's basically what I'm be working on, man. That funding and the lawsuits. One thing I like is that, you know, clients can choose to keep going dispute after dispute after dispute, but you, you don't really have to do that. No, most definitely. One thing I want to uh, bring up too, because this goes back to what I said, like anyone is watching, the mentorship is so rich because we get people that are experts in different things. So I don't actually, in the, in the program, I don't talk about like, uh, you know, five day challenges and things like that, but you've been doing challenges. So I want to just hear from you how that's been. Has it been good for converting people into your program? Is it going to, are you going to be doing it for your mentorship? Let, let's just talk about that. So, and that's from another program I purchased. That's how I learned that. Um, okay. And I am converting people from what I'm doing is I'm pushing over into a Facebook group. Uh, at first, I wasn't even reaching out to them. I'm just posting stuff in there, posting stuff. And now I'm starting to reach out to them and stuff like that. Yes, they are converting. Um, a lot of people right now say they don't have the money. And I'm, oh, that's the other thing I'm working on. Like when we hop off here, I'm about to hop on with my VA. We're working on some DIY, DFY, DWY done. <laughs> Yeah. You do it yourself, done with you, and done for you. For you yeah. Um, you're working on that. Um, some copy for well, some funnels and stuff for that. And basically, when you get them over there in that groups, and when you can keep posting results, and you can keep posting results and keep posting results, and you know, give them some game in there too, show them some things, tell them some things. People just want to know that you're the authority. That's really what they want to know. If you're an authority, if you can do what you say you can do, or are you BSing? And, um, you know, when they get in them groups and then somebody tagged me on Facebook about what I've done, like I, I stayed off Facebook today, but I did see I got like two or three tags and mentions on there from some stuff. I go push that into the group on Monday, show them, boom. They can always go back and trail them people back to Facebook. Um, and that's the thing when you um, get in your people to say what you've done for them and people being able to see that is good. So them five day challenges are great for lead magnets. Um, you give them some game, you teach them some things. And my five day challenges isn't always about credit. Sometimes it's about business. Um, Cause I'm kind of warming people up for a mentorship. So um, sometimes it's about business. Sometimes it's about budget and it's, and you just want to get people over into your group. I probably got like 600 people in there right now. Nice. Um, so you just get people over in there. Then you're able to nurture them within the group. So I think that's important. Have you done have you done something like this, like a case study video with any of the challenge people, like after like someone that had like a remarkable results or something? I, I haven't. Um, I've never been on like so how you doing with me. I've never done that with one client yet. And it's coming. I know that's important. It's coming. Um, yeah. but I haven't yet. You know what I mean? Um, not yet, but it's coming. And I think that's important because yeah. when you can get someone on zoom to tell their their story and you can get it live you know because some people you know they might be all oh, reviews they could be fake uh but when you can get somebody to come on and speak about it and when you ask some questions so you know you know you can smell bs you know it ain't no bs because the type of questions being asked and the type of answers that are being given i, I think that that really really en enhances your no like trust factor that you always talk about no most definitely and then i mean the cases People can go to my IG. I literally posted. They can go to your page. You posted. So, you know, all the results and everything. You know, I encourage people to do their due diligence. Um, but that brings me to, you know, wrapping it up. Where can people find you? I, you'll probably post this on your YouTube as well. But where can people find you that are on my channel? Um, so, Gary, I'm Gary A. Branch on Instagram uh, and my Facebook. And I'm G to Credit God. That's G-A-W-D on TikTok and on YouTube. 
Um, you can find me there. I'm always giving out some game and I'm, I'm, I'm gearing up to pump out a lot more content. I, my, matter of fact, my VA got some stuff in the queue talking about, you know, student loans and some repos and some other things. So that's where you can right. find me at. Uh, my business is New Generational Wealth Solutions. Most definitely. Appreciate your time, bro. Make sure y'all tap in with uh, Gary. If you like the vibe and everything, get your credit fixed, get your funding, get your lawsuit dismissed, all that. With that being said, y'all have a blessed one.